So chances are if you've played Ark, you've wanted a Philocolio, or Philocolio as some people pronounce it, but only to find out Titan Bio eggs aren't that easy to come by, and that means you've probably sifted through countless videos that say there's a proper way to get eggs, or this farm works, when it actually doesn't. A lot of them say they found the secret they have to be in the swamp, or they have to be half submerged in water, and neither of these two things are true. If you want to see what the actual truth is to get the best pound for pound scout in the game, then stick around. So as I previously mentioned before in other YouTube videos, they'll tell you it could be the shape, it could be the design, it could have to be in the swamp, or it has to be submerged in water. None of these things are true, the location doesn't matter within the swamp. It still makes no difference, the water makes no difference, they don't have to have any contact with water whatsoever. Like, people have used this design and said that it's somewhat effective, but I've never had so much luck with it. The shape of the build isn't too bad because it works in like a funnel system and it's easy to kite the snakes around, but if you're doing it solo, it can be a real pain. And more often than not, the snakes will end up knocking you out and that's just not good. So the build I'm about to show you, usually I'd build it at 61.2, 28.2. Unfortunately, I couldn't build it here because offline mode is where I usually do my building when I'm testing a design. I tried to do it there, but it just wouldn't work. Like, the snakes weren't laying eggs. I think it's got something to do with the render settings because for the snakes to lay eggs, you have to go out of their render distance initially, and then when you come back in, that's when they render in and lay the eggs. So I did this on the official server that I play on, and I couldn't do it at 61.2, 28.2, which is just past the big deep pond in the redwoods. I couldn't do it there because I know somebody is built there, and if they were on at the time in the render distance, it wouldn't have worked, or at least it, it logically wouldn't work because they'd still be in their render distance. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to this location and build over here instead. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is come to this location shown here, these exact coordinates, because in the top left there you can see it's an unknown region. Clear yourself out a nice little flat patch, and make sure when you build it that it's centered within the unknown region. So just have a quick look around, because if the Titan Bio is not within the unknown region it won't lay effectively. Build yourself a simple little 3x3 design, you can go bigger, but it for early to mid game, I recommend this size, it works perfectly fine. Clear out any excess animals, because if Titan Bio is aggro, they won't lay eggs effectively. You're going to want to grab your two pillars, place one in each corner, opposite to each other. This gives the perfect amount of structural support. Okay, so you grab your other materials now. Grab your hatch frames and your ceilings. And now all you're going to want to do with your hatch frames is place them above the pillars in the same 3x3 design you've already done. This, we do this because the eggs will actually fall through more often than not and you'll be able to just walk through without getting bit and grab the eggs from underneath. Occasionally they do however get stuck up there or you just can't grab them through the hole because the Titan Bowl's body might be in the way which is why we build this outer ring with ceilings. If you want, you can put hatch frames, hatches in the actual hatch frames to stop other people using it. But for this build, I'm not that fussed about it. We're just going to go up here and build this ring around, as I said, because sometimes you can't quite grab the eggs. You only want to go up on top. I'd recommend using an Argentavis too, because a Wyvern is just completely impractical for this. They don't have a very good carry weight. They're a pain in the neck to be able to drop snakes into the actual trap. Just completely impractical, just use an RG, it'll make your life so much easier. It's painful, I know, but it's worth it. You don't want to go around that 3x3 free free design with your doorways. Don't try to make the entire build out of doorways either, because if I'm not mistaken, I do believe that Titan Bowls hit through doorways if they're too high. Pack yourself some extra materials too, just in case you make some mistakes. There's nothing worse than getting halfway across the map with the perfect amount of materials and then getting that annoying little lag spike that makes you place it in the wrong spot or just something going completely wrong and then you're not being able to replace the piece you need. You can do the top part in doorways as long as the first part has windows on top of it, it's fine. I haven't had no issue with it, I have had to do that before. But I just try to keep it to windows, try to do it free high also and don't place it like I just did. 
Luckily, I packed a spare doorway, I believe, and as I said, if you put them on top, you don't really have a problem as long as it's very high. If you make them too high, the Titan Bowls can actually climb out. I'll grab that spare doorway that I had. And we'll just slap that up there. Okay, now all we're missing is the Titan Bowls. I'm going to trim this part down because it's going to be painful trying to drop Titan Bowls into here with a wire. <laughs> okay, so we have our snakes. Now a lot of other people say to pack as many in there, like usually I would agree, probably not for this design because as you can see it's a little bit squishy in there and I feel sometimes when they get body blocked, they get into like an infinite fall glitch sort of thing and they just don't lay eggs, which I guess is completely understandable. So as so long as you don't overpack it, you should be right. That's why I probably would go a little bit bigger, but if you want to get yourself started, this is a good size design to get you some eggs. Be sure to clear out all of the animals that Titan Bowls can aggro onto, because as I said, they do not lay eggs while they're aggroed. So just be sure to kill them. And now you're going to want to go and land somewhere outside of their render distance, because that's how it works. If you go outside of their render, once you come back into their render, that's when they actually lay the eggs. Where I go to sit is just over here at like the edge or the outskirts of the redwood I guess you could say. And I usually find, be a little bit patient, like it doesn't always work every time first time. And sometimes they won't lay for a while. And I find dropping a Fiomia in there seems to work, I don't know if they have to be fed or it loses their aggro because they kill it, but it works. Two to three minute intervals seem to work the best, so just give it a go and be patient. Okay, so we've been back once, and there wasn't nothing there, so I decided to cut that out. We dropped a Fiomia in, to see if that actually helped. I feel pretty confident that we can go over here, and there should be an egg or two just sitting around. So we'll just fly down, and we'll have a look, and see what we got. Have a look in the top part first. No, there doesn't seem to be any eggs up in the top. Not that you can see for all the Titan bowls. Ah, but there you go. There's one underneath, and they didn't even finish the Titan. Uh, they didn't even finish the Fiomia. Now here's a tip for you: don't try to whip them because they cannot be picked up with a whip, or at least I can't seem to do it. Especially if you're going to do the design where you actually go in the cage with them, because I nearly got knocked out before by doing that. Now what we'll do is we'll go and wait over there once more, and we'll see if we can't get another egg. Okay, so we've been away a little bit longer than I would have liked to because that godforsaken fog set in and god forbid should you record in that crap, but we'll go and see if we've got any more eggs. Aha, uh -huh, so I kind of hoped this would happen. Now there is an egg, but it's in the top. So <laughs> this guy thinks it's impossible to kill a wild giga. Wow. Airheads, I tell you. But anyway, back to what we was doing. You can actually grab the eggs through... which one was it under? Ah, there we go. See, you can be stung, so I'd probably use... well, bit. I'd probably use Gilly. Gilly'd work best, but it's on the official server, and as you can see, I can grab it. But it's on the official server, and I didn't have Gilly on it at the time. And I just want to get this build done. Goddamn Dillos. As you can see, you can grab the eggs through the hatch frames. It doesn't always work, because sometimes the snake's body gets in the way, but that's what we built that outer ring for. Okay, so I hope the video helped you out, and you was able to get yourself enough eggs like I have to get yourself a filer or two. I've had a lot of success with this method, and I hope that you all have the same. If you enjoyed the video and it did help you out, be sure to leave that thumbs up, because it helps tremendously. And if you'd like to see more content, or maybe you'd just like to stick around and support the channel, then be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. Till the next time, see you later.